Do you want to create this stunning 3D mockup? Well, in today's video, we will learn how to create packaging design and a 3D mockup using Canva and Pagdora. Pagdora makes designing packaging super easy. It's an online 3D packaging design tool that allows users to create custom packaging designs, view them in 3D and download precise die lines for designing and manufacturing. You will find a huge collection of customizable mockups and box templates to help you get started. And you can even preview your design in 3D before you finalize it. The best part, you can do all right from your browser, no special software needed. I have put the link to Pectora in the description box below and you can use my code NEXTCANVAS to get 20% off their subscription. So let's get started. Let's go to the browser and search pectora.com. Let me just walk you through this software using their website. It's pretty simple. As you can see, there are tools that Pagdora offers to elevate your designing process. We will start and I'll show you each one of them. First, let's select our die line template. You can either go from here or here. It has over 3000 free customizable box templates and I think you will pretty much find everything you need. You can scroll down to choose your template or you can skim down using these categories on the left. Or you can simply search for your desired template and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a skincare product packaging. So let's search for serum packaging. You will get so many options. You can even get the bottle template as well. I am going to choose this one here. Here you can even change the dimensions as per your liking and you can download the die line in the following formats. We will go with the PDF. You can also download the AI format if you are designing in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just download the die line and head over to Canva. Here create a new design and click upload. Choose the PDF file and upload it into Canva. Once uploaded, open this up. Now there are some details on the top left side which are mostly important for printing. But for now we are only focusing on three things. The green line, the blue line and the red line. These lines are very important for the design. Make sure design doesn't go over these lines to keep the margins right. I like to create a copy and make it little big. Now lock the position of the template so it doesn't move. Make sure your rulers are showing. If not, go to the file and then settings. And here select show rulers and guides. Set the ruler lines so you know the demarcation of each side of the package design. Now press the R key to insert a shape and change its color and then adjust its size so it covers the whole area. Make sure there's no empty part of the template showing. Add more rectangles for the flaps and make this corner rounded. Click right and then go to layers and send them backwards. Now I am adding one more rectangle with rounded corners to design my package. I am keeping this one simple so I will just quickly add all the text and logos I need on the packaging on all the four sides and on the flaps. Now let's go search for gradient and elements tab and select this one. Uh, adjust its placement. I'm also going to add an orange gradient at the bottom of the packaging to add a little depth to the base color. Okay, I'll keep it this way for now and once you're happy with your design, go to layers and unlock the template so that you can remove the template and you have your design only. Download the design as a PNG with transparent background. Let's head back to pagdora.com and once you're here, click on the add images to add your design, the one you just created in Canva. I'm going to trim these excess sides. Now adjust the size and place it over the template so it fully covers the required area. Here on the right side, you can see the 3D preview of the packaging. You can drag it from the corner to make it bigger. Hold your click and hover your cursor to see the other dimensions of the packaging. You can slide this bar here to open and close the packaging preview. On the left panel here, you can find elements. These are icons that are usually found in packaging. You can also find shapes and text in this tab. Like if I add a recycle icon to show that the packaging is recyclable, 
So if we drag the preview here, you can see the element has been updated at the bottom of the flap. Click the save button to save the design. You can see your 3D packaging here. There's the panel on the left side. We are on the edit tab right now. And then there are models which show other packaging options. And then we have background option. You can change the background to a solid color or you can have gradient. You can also upload an image as a background. Once you are happy with your design, click Super Export. You can download this mockup as well as the template in the mentioned formats. But here's the fun part. Go to videos and you will see 8 different animation options. They all look so good. Choose the one you like and you can download it as an mp4 or mou file. You can choose your desired ratio as well. Click export now to export the file. It will take a few moments to download. I have created two more versions of the product. So here's the final look. But this doesn't end here. Let me show you how you can create this 3D model using Pagdora. So we are in the mockup tab and now I will click on the 3D design and it will bring you to this page. Here on the left, you can see all the ready-made scenes available to design your model. There are literally so many options to choose from and uh, I think I'm going to choose this option and it will take a few moments to render and here we have it. You can see some arrows and signs here. They are used for moving, scaling and rotating the selected element. I'm quickly going to fix the position and scaling using these signs and arrows. Now here's the cool thing. Remember the two different variants I made? I will select one packaging and click adjust image. This will bring me to the editing page and here I will delete the previous design and add another design here. I will place it over the template and click save. Repeat the same procedure with the other package. And there you have three different packages designed on the same 3D model. On the left panel here you can find assets which have all the shapes and decor items if you add any. So let's just add this one here and adjust its size. And I'm going to place it over here. You can change the lighting as well. Here are the some basic options and you can adjust brightness and angle etc in the advanced options. Now let's just select the background image and complete our design. Once you are satisfied with your design, click super render and export the file in a desired format. Here's the final look. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed exploring how to create stunning packaging designs and 3D mockups using Canva and Pectora. It is incredible how simple and efficient the process is with Pectora's powerful tools and templates. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators. And remember, you can use my code NEXTCANVAS for 20% off your Pectora subscription. Check out the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.